we've been in business a little over four and a half years. We're based in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. We're a full service social digital workshop. I really wanted to work in an emerging market. Uh, we saw the mobile consumption and uh, the engagement on social networks coming from the Middle East during that time was kind of through the roof. Um, and you were starting to see a lot of trends and opportunities and how people were using different platforms to actually kind of leapfrog traditional digital mediums. I think for us the challenge is, you know, how do we want to scale this business from here? Do we want to go regional? Do we want to go super regional? Or do we want to go to other international markets? So we're evaluating that now. Um, as a services business, we're completely tied to our clients' needs. So if our clients say, hey, we have products we want to take into Asia, we're going to be looking at opening offices in Singapore and Hong Kong. If they want to go to North America, obviously we, we look at the major metropolitan areas there. But I think the other thing that's kind of made us evaluate, you know, do we want to go international, do we want to look at a regional offering, has really been the passion and desire of our team. So where can we grow and, and what type of services and what kind of offerings can we have that also keep our culture intact. Our culture is something that's incredibly special and important to us. I mean, First of all, I think humility is incredibly important. You cannot enter a market and then act like you know everything. Um, and I think we did an okay job of that. Sometimes we were too cocky and other times we were you know, a little um, too humble maybe where we should have been more forceful and said this isn't the right way to do it. But we found that space and I think humility is important. I think the second thing to know is recruitment is very difficult in an emerging market. Um, to recruit and retain talent, you have to constantly invest, you have to constantly communicate. You have to have their best interests at heart and you have to kind of lay that roadmap out in front of them or they will be poached and they will go somewhere else. The stakes are too high. Um, and I think the opportunity for people to poach from you and to uh, create other opportunities for your own employees that are better than what you can offer are abundant. And sometimes we've done that well and sometimes we haven't, uh, but we've learned from it either way. And third, um, and I think most importantly, um, you have to be patient. Um, and investing in emerging markets is uh, very much a timing game, but it's also a game of patience. So if you come in, and obviously emerging markets are highly impacted by macroeconomic events. If you're in the bottom of a macroeconomic event or a cycle that you know cash flow is going to be under pressure and other stuff, you're not going to get the type of uptick in, in investment as you'd normally see. Whereas um, if you come kind of on the uptrend, you're going to get a lot of maybe benefit that you didn't necessarily deserve or warrant. So overall, patience is what's going to get you through day to day.